And so, now I'm going to run through some examples. Like I said, there's not an awful lot of content today. But uh, I'm going to do more than one example for you guys. And the first example I'm going to do, the first example I'm going to do is on page 43, okay, with the box that you've got, okay? Okay, so 6.1, the example is a flat plate, okay? Imagine my book is a flat plate, okay, there's a flat plate, and there's a flow, I've got a hose pipe that's applying a force on the bottom of the plate, okay? And we want to know, the question asks, for what is the speed of the flow so that the plate doesn't move, okay? Obviously, there'll be a flow that, that's low enough that the plate will fall down, okay? And there'll be a, a flow that's high enough that it will go up. But we want to know what is it to maintain its position, okay? Now, what we know is we've got the angle... Sorry, we've got the size of the flow. So here's my plate. Okay, we know the mass is 10 kilograms. Okay, and we've got a flow coming up. Okay, and when a flow hits a plate, it's going to go in these directions. Okay, so here we've got C1, and here we've got C2. Okay, generally when a flow, when a circular jet hits a plate, it'll go in all the directions, okay, but along the, the plate. If you ever turn your tap on in the sink, okay, you'll notice that when the flow hits the bottom of the sink, okay, um, the flow exits sideways, okay, it doesn't bounce up and go back to where the tap was, it exits sideways, okay, and that's what happens with the flow here. We can assume that it runs along the side of the, uh, the plate, and we've got C1 and C2, so if we say that this, uh, those are the positive axes, X and Y, okay, we know that C1 equals, well, we, that's what we're trying to work out, but we know that C 1y, or Cy1, equals C1, and C1x equals, C, uh, equals 0. Okay, that's metres per second. Okay, that's, this is what we're trying to work out. And we know in the x direction, okay, we know the magnitude first off that C2 equals C1. Okay, so that's the first thing to say. We know in the x direction, C2y is going to be 0, and C2x is going to be C2, which we know is going to be C1. Okay? <coughs> and so, we know the force is going to be mass, flow rate, times by the change in velocity. Okay? So that's the general equation. We look at it in components in the x direction. We know that the force in the x direction is going to be the mass flow rate times by C2x minus C1x. So that's the mass flow rate times by C2x, which we know is C1 minus 0. M, M dot C1. Okay? And in the y direction, we know that Fy equals M dot times by C2y minus C1y. We know that C1y is C, and so we've got m dot 0 minus C1, and so we've got minus m dot C1. And so here we've got two equations and two unknowns, well, two equations and one unknown, so we could use either. But we need to find out what m dot is. Now m dot we know is rho times a times c, okay, well rho that's rho of water. A, we know, is pi d squared divided by 4. And obviously C, we can, like I said, we can take any C. We know the input flow diameter, okay? We don't know the output flow diameter, so we'll take the input. So that's going to be rho times by pi times by the input is 0 0.2 <coughs> divided by 4 times by C. And so if we plug this into the y equation, it's going to be rho pi 0 0.2 squared divided by 4 times by C1 multiplied by minus C1. Okay? And so we have a force of minus 1,000 pi 0 0.2 squared divided by 4 
times by C1 squared equals Fy. So here, we do, we're trying to work out what C1 is, so we must know what Fy is. Okay, well Fy, obviously we've got a Newton's second law on the block. Okay, Newton's second law, we've got Ma equals, obviously the only force that's acting on it is the mass minus, sorry, minus the mass plus the force, okay, on the plate, okay. So this is actually the force on the plate. So in fact, that's going to be minus Fy. Let me rewrite that. Minus Mg plus minus Fy, because that's the force on the plate. Okay? And that equals zero, because we don't want it to move. And so we can see that Fy is going to equal Mg, okay? minus Mg, sorry. And so if we plug that into here, we end up with Mg, so plug that into here. Mg equals 1,000 pi 0 0.2 squared divided by 4 times by C1 squared. Okay, and so we end up with the square root of 4 Mg divided by 1,000 pi 0 0.2 squared equals C1. And so you plug that into your calculator. Sorry. So everybody follows this Newton second law, yeah, up here. Sum of all the forces equals mass times acceleration. If it's not accelerating, then that's zero, okay? And we've got minus mg plus the force on the plate, okay, which is minus the force on the fluid. Okay, so you must remember that minus sign. And so you get Fy equals minus mg. And so you plug that into here, Fy. <coughs> Obviously, the minus sign is gone because I've taken the minus sign off of here, okay? And then you can end up solving for C1. You've got 4 times 9.81 times 10. 1,000 pi times 0.2 squared. 1.767. 1 meters per second.